He's just cruising that log. Yep. Right on top. All right. Uh, should I take my t-shirt off or? No. No, that's the, right, that's the one to have. <laughs> That'll be the one to have. <laughs> Here, oh, you should have seen this one. Oh, such a good boy, Trey. Such a good boy. He's oh. doing good. Oh, he's a good boy. So yeah, we got a big fun day going on today here. Oh my goodness. So Paul and Linda are up from Virginia. They come to pick that big pup up right there, Trig. Rock star, let me tell ya. So you guys, what did you think about your drive up from Virginia to Canada? The drive was fine. We saw lots of things in between. We saw, went to the Butte Mining Museum, which is on top of a real mine, and we went down into the mine. Oh, cool. Which is 100 the only, feet. Yes. And, uh, here. So, that, you know, we've, we've done interesting things and beautiful oh, weather that we're having here. Oh, don't worry. She's and being up down. here on the mountaintop is great. Kai. And I guess this is his first experience to go up on the mountaintop. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Kai, Kai Dora, come, here. come up here so Treg hangs out. Yeah. So, she's now, coming. She's Linda, coming. what made you come all the way up here to pick up a pup? Because I found Camia Kennels on. YouTube and I watched all the videos <laughs> and I read as many articles as I could and we came to visit and last fall last fall last September and I was so impressed with your dogs when when we were in the yard and a couple of the dogs were in heat and the meals went over there to say hi and you called them and they came to you just like that and then we went hiking <laughs> And they stayed with us. They'd circle around and kept track of us. And, and I got to see the puppies. And, and I just thought, yep, this is the best. So, this is our fourth elk hound. Yeah. Yes. We've had one yeah. singly for about 40 years until they grew old. And so our last one died about a year, a little over a year ago. And so we decided we're going to look hard and get a good one. And we think we do. Yep. Yeah. He's looking pretty active. Save the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a good boy. Well, I uh, I had such a fun hike with you last fall there. That was such a good visit, and we had such a nice visit. And and uh, when you said, you know what, you find us a good pup, and I thought, well, we'll we'll select out a really good one. And, uh, well, I think if you did a really good job. <laughs> this, this will be a good one. Now, Trig is the uh, son of Kai and Pretty Boy Lee. And this is Mon, this is Aunt Tecla, and that's Grandma Tora there. Now, Linda has shown me a book. She's mapped out from the videos a whole genetic uh, lineage of all of our dogs. Not all, but a bunch. A bunch. Pretty phenomenal. And uh, over the years now, uh, Paul, you said there was roughly 40 years of elk on yes. history. Yes. You had them. Uh, the first one was 12, the second one 15, and the last one 11. Yeah. And basically a little short time in between each, but uh, right. almost always was an elk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about your thoughts of what you what you uh, really enjoy about the breed. I mean, you've had them so long. Um, they're, they're so great as family dogs. We really like that. So you can have, our, I mean, agree with our kids and other people's kids. Um, they're clean. You yeah, know. They don't smell like doggy. Right. I mean, they do shed, but we expect that with most dogs and whatever. It's not dog um, hair, it's elk litter. And, and they, they can be protected. I mean, yeah. uh, Linda actually was threatened once when I was away from home by, as it turned out, we didn't know this was two, two convicts that had escaped from uh, a prison not far from us. And we were out on the seven acre place all by ourselves and they came in the middle of the night and they tried to, they got into the garage and they tried to hotwire the car. And we had two dogs at the time, an Akita and uh, an Elkham, and both of them were standing by to protect Linda, which was good because I was in Alaska right. and they were living in Minnesota at the time. So friendly but helpful, you know, and also willing, and Linda's noticed when we go out especially if she goes alone at night, you know, the, the dogs are alert. And if they see somebody coming, they will signal to her yeah. that there's something. And if you're talking to some, you're meeting a stranger, and they don't like them, it's no wonder. 
like, nope, you don't want to be, want to be mean, talking to that guy. I mean, I mean, these aren't really, you know, they're not bred to be guard dogs, but they, they, they have they that too, very, which is very useful. They have excellent yep. discernment. Excellent mm -hmm. discernment. That's a good, uh, good way to put it. Yeah. You got it. Oh, yeah. Yes. And you just want to keep me getting scratchy, huh? <laughs> as soon as I stop, you, you say, give me more, give me more. Now, Tecla and Mon, of course, they had just found the fresh bear crap over there, so we were, uh, we're, we're getting a little bit on, a, on us right now, because obviously they were rolling it. But little Trig, he's been motoring along with us, like, he's quite phenomenal. amazing. His first mountain hike. Yeah, you are really amazing, kiddo. So we're up about uh, 4,800 feet here today. We're having a nice time up here. Okay, okay. And uh, we bought, uh, brought Grandma Tora along. And Tora, come say hi. Tora. Tora? I'm no, busy digging. she's busy digging. <laughs> Don't you be teaching in that. <laughs> now, you guys, wow. uh, basically a year you had to wait for that pup. Uh, yes. Yeah. Give right or take. Because yeah. uh, when you called there the first time, that was kind of interesting. You said we were talking away, and uh, you hadn't said where you were from yet. And you had said, "Wow, well, we were thinking we might drive over, and maybe visit." We'd and like see to visit. Dogs. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, "Oh yeah, yeah." I was thinking maybe just not far away. And you said, "Well, it'll take us about seven days, eight days to drive yeah. up." Yeah. Right. <laughs> said, I think it was like I, someplace like, "Well, what's on your bucket list what do you think? for oh, your yeah. trip?" And we said. Well, unless you say yes, we don't have a trip. <laughs> you are the bucket list, you know. We did, we did, we went to the Grand Tetons and, and Yellowstone last fall, and that was a fantastic trip. But the ultimate best part of that trip was here. <laughs> yeah. I thought, wow, when you said Virginia, I thought, oh my goodness. But <laughs> you've come over here. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's not many a socialist mom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <No>. Leaf. <laughs> yeah. Well, Leaf would have done some rolls by now. Mm. Yeah. So, Mon, come over here. Give him a little space. Bad boy. Yeah. That's all right. You all can right. come. You can uh, give him a break and come to me. Yeah. That's a good boy. <laughs> now, uh, had you thought when you were looking this time that you you preferred to maybe stay a little more in the work line is that one of the reasons you started to look at our stuff or was it uh, just just well, I don't think things. we were all that aware of the work line until we stumbled onto your videos in your kennel and stuff and I mean like our last elk count of the three elk counts we had he had the best notes I mean he he would just find and track anything and everything and so when we found out, you know, that you have a working line, it was like, well, yeah, that sounds well, good, you know. Yeah, very um, similar to what you had that last guy. It, it, good nose yeah, and good yeah, tracker. Yeah. And he, was, see, <laughs> his, but he was named before we knew that he was a good tracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But I think the difference is, uh, we, we, had, we had show dogs before, and it's fine, but a working dog, we don't need a dog to go hunting moose. No, no, that's we not what we're going to do. But yeah. it seems to me that the same features that the dogs uh, show in, you know, in watch, staying with you and coming back, you know, is the same sort of thing you want in a family dog too. So that made sense uh, as opposed to the show dogs are fine. A lot of them are great companions and all that, but they may not be particularly obedient. Uh, and that's well known for elk hounds in yes. particular at the yeah. show elk dogs. Elk hounds are independent. They're yeah. smart. They think for themselves. Yeah, you know. and, and all the elk hound owners that we you know, know at Riders, they say... There are sticks uh, around. She might have a tick. You know, some, some people say, you, you can leave the dog off leash. But they will always say, oh no, not ours. Can't, yeah. can't leave the elk hounds off leash. Well, obviously you can. <laughs> once you've got the right guys. Uh, and, and you've well, done some training well, with them and all that. And I so, mean, you yeah. could see it with your puppies. Yes. Right away they gravitate to you. Right yeah. away. It's, it was just amazing to me. And, and that... That impressed me a whole lot. Well, this little trick, he's been following us all day here. Yeah. He's been just a little machine and uh, locked on to you guys. He's been a <laughs> solid little fella. Yeah. Aren't you a smart boy? Yes, you are. Yeah, that's a really good pup. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, right, that particular male is 
as good a male as there is in the world today. Like he's got all the very best genetics from all the best kennels going back right to the start of the association. And uh, it's quite cool that uh, you guys drove all that way to, uh, you know, to source out uh, well, the Well, as very you could best. tell, I really like genetics. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Doing that. Doing that book up, I'll tell you. you know? That's a better book than, uh, way better than buy it. Oh, no, that's pretty cool. Well, I don't know about that, but I mean, it was it was like, you see, obviously, you know, the dogs do have different personalities. Very yeah. similar, but different. They have slightly different coats. They have slightly different this or that, you know. And to be able to see the parents and see the pups that come and, and know where they came from, to well, me, that's well, just fascinating. Here we can see the grandparents too. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, you can see the four and, generations. And other kennels, yeah. really, you don't need that. No. That's just the way it is. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it, but yeah. It is kind of nice for you to be able to hike with the grandmother today. Absolutely. Yes, the amazing. mother and the little guy, the right. aunt, right. yep. and the uncle. I mean, Mon and uh, Tora are brother and sister. Mon's half, half brother. Yeah. But uh, Tecla, of course, is, is half sister to Kai, the mother. Yep. So very, very cool, and then... Uh, and it's, um, it's amazing to watch them work as they're out and running so and smart. circling he around you. He knows where the shade is. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's finding it uh, warm out today. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's... Well, I want to thank you both for coming up and spending time with me last year and coming back and for having a confidence in our program and our dogs. And yeah, it's a yeah. real honor for me to have this pup for you. It's a real honor for us to have the pup. <laughs> 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 that's well, that's pretty cool. Well, we'll get that little guy and get him He's chucking right again. Him. Oh, yeah. there, yep, there, there he is. Boy, there he is. Hi, Trick. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What a good boy, Trick. So, yeah, he's been good. He's found all the bear. These guys missed them. <laughs> <laughs> and he's warned them off, right? He's yeah. warned them off. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, so can you so run faster than him? I can just barely. <laughs> <laughs> so he's... I don't think so, actually. Yeah, he might be able to he be... He was going pretty fast earlier today. <laughs> he's safe, that guy. Maybe now, uh, maybe he's too tired. I think we've, we've, we've been adopted into the family here. I do believe I so. You guys are okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a little trick. He's there now. There he is. Ah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I found him. 